G'day everyone and welcome back to another David Maxfield Golf video where today we are continuing on with our series of the seed golf balls and we have set up, so we've got the SDA one, the SDX one, and we're set up outside here, we've got the simulator on and we're going to crack into some numbers for you guys. Um, I think that's going to be one of the most important visuals to see um, because while I can get out there on course and I can do the short game stuff and I can feel the ball around the greens for me, a lot of people want to see the numbers and they want to see it compared to a Pro V1 or a Pro V1X and, and really know how good is this ball because I can tell you, but the numbers don't lie. So let's get straight into it and then we're going to get into the text and specs and the numbers review at the end. I'm going to hit five shots with each ball in each club and then I'm gonna pick the best three um, of each, okay? And then when we get to the driver, I'm gonna do a comparison between the Pro V1 and the Pro V1X, and I'm gonna see if some of the claims from Seed, which are on their website with the SDX1, are actually true that it's one of the quickest balls on the market, that it actually exceeded the USGA's limit, um, but it was in the 2% threshold. So we're gonna put that to the test today and see, is it faster than a Pro V1 or a Pro V1X? Let's check it out. Just a short pitch basically what you try and get on course okay we're not too worried about the rollout here because the spin numbers will will kind of talk for themselves um, 6,000 spin which is really good Forty-four, nice and consistent. One more with the seed, the SDX one. Very good, really tight dispersion there. Let's jump in the seed, SDO one. So add a club, lob wedge. Yes. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to compare the Pro V1 first um, because the Pro V1 is the ball that's going to be comparing to that one. So let's go Pro V1. Okay, so it's there, there, thereabouts. I'm not a robot, so there are going to be a little bit, you know, a couple of meters probably just difference in distance. Um, but for the test, it'll be good enough. All right, let's add a club. We'll go seed SD01. Probably hit that too high. <laughs> I think I got a little bit. Oh no, maybe I didn't. That that flight though is definitely higher, isn't it? Let's see if that stays the same the whole way. That's really interesting. Straight away. It feels really nice though, like it is coming at a higher trajectory. But it feels nice, that one was a little bit long, getting a bit excited there. That's actually, I'm just gonna talk here next to the mic, that's really actually quite incredible because what I'm seeing already is that between the two seed balls, one is a flatter trajectory in the X1, one is a higher trajectory in the SDO one, which shows that they both have a place in the range, which is awesome. That's actually really quite astounding. If we take a look at the, uh, sorry, I'm just gonna jump into this. If we take a look at the trajectories, look at the difference there. Forty-nine. 47.5. 43. Okay, let's jump in now to the full pitching wedge and we'll do the same. Pull that one a little. Yep, 116. I 
felt like the best swing of the lot. Fifteen. I've got to honestly say, between those two, I didn't feel like there was a massive difference. Um, they felt really quite similar. Uh, seed SD01 now. That was pure. That felt so nice. 119. That's that's getting out there. Though I didn't pull that one. I'm feeling a bit looser now. I think that's why this will probably be a little bit further as well. I'm feeling yeah. So I'm feeling a little looser. So that's fine though. We can compare them against each other. Okay, cool. So we'll have enough there to make sure everything's compared and, uh, and on a pretty similar vein, which is awesome. Uh, let's jump into the 7 iron now, which it starts to get exciting here for me. And now, I'll say some base numbers for the 7 iron of what I would expect. I'd expect around about the 93 to well 91 to 94 mile an hour swing speed um, around about 147 150 meters of carry and if I get anything below 6700 spin that would be perfect for me but realistically it's probably between 6800 and 7200 um, I have and I've got to say this every single time I have a 35 degree 7 iron which is like most people's 8 iron even some 9 irons these days so my spin rates are always a little higher Oh, I love the feeling of that ball. That just feels, it just feels so good. See, the club speed was down a touch and it's still 149 carries. That's, that's a quick ball. That feel, like I know that that was a touch right, but that felt so good. Like so good, 149 again. Ah. 153, that's a, that's a big seven iron for me. And what a good one to finish on. Finally actually squared the face. Look at that club path and face to path. 161. Okay, so that 161, I did absolutely flush it. I reckon they're probably one in a 10 kind of shot for me personally. Doesn't matter the ball or the club. Um, let's go at a club now. Pro V1. Just hitting fades today. Just aim a little bit left. That's a probe one done. The seed, we're gonna go to the SD01.
Okay, great one to finish on there with the seed. The next is going to be the Pro V1X. Okay. Alrighty, so that's going to finish up the Pro V1X, and basically let's just jump straight into the driver and see how we go. Alright, so I think we'll probably start from there. We've had a couple of shots where we're still kind of warming up with the driver, so. So, ball speed is really good for that swing speed. 161 for 109 mile an hour swing speed. That's quick. One ten point four. I really did feel like that was faster than that. Might need to move that Garmin back a touch. Yeah, there we go. Probably out of the Garmin just a touch too far back. Okay, just just for the sake of time, I'm gonna quickly jump into the SD01. Alrighty guys, so we are back here in the studio. I'm gonna throw the numbers up on screen now. And basically, this is super, super surprising. So the way it worked, it just kind of did things a little bit back to front. But basically, the seed, the SD01 is comparable to the Pro V1X. So when we started on those short pitches, um, we got an average carry here of 46 for the seed SD01, 46.9 for the Pro V1X. Um, swing speeds are about the same. Ball speeds are within one mile an hour. Um, now, if we go to the launch, you'll see that the seed actually launched about six degrees higher, which is, you know, that's on average as well. So that's that's quite incredible. It's a higher launching ball. Um, and uh, if we go to the spin numbers, they are almost literally identical. So. The seed, 5,885 on those short pitches, which is amazing. Pro V1X, which is the highest spinning ball generally with the Pro V1s, is 5,888. So, you know, for me, I find that a lot of balls tend to spin around that range anyway with those shots, but to see that it's, it's you know, bang on is awesome. So, then we go into the Pro V1 and the seed SDX1. Uh, again, almost identical within a meter, we're talking about in terms of the, uh, uh, the carry distance or, or one point something uh, ball speed is the SDX one is a mile an hour quicker So that's interesting because I had a slower club speed if I had a slower club speed and it was a mile an hour slower You go, okay, well, that's the reason why but it is quicker even though I had a slower club speed, which is very interesting uh, Launch angles with the Pro V1 are almost identical 31.1 and 31 degrees perfect for me um, with a little lob wedge there and then if we go into the spin rates you'll see that again, they are almost identical. 5,895, Perfect. Um, now, pitching wedge. So, the Pro V1X on the pitching wedge, uh, club speed 76.1. I try to make this so the numbers are 
are as close together in carry distance as possible um, because then that's what's going to give us the best comparison with the other numbers. Um, so carry distance on both, pitching wedge 114.1, pitching wedge with a Pro V1X 114.3. Very, very close. Let me turn that on. Um, total distance is kind of irrelevant because they were the fairways. Um, let's go to spin on the pitching wedge. So we start to see a little bit of a difference, not much, like it's, it's, it's minimal, but 7,382 with the SDO1, slightly higher than the Pro V1X, 7,304. Then we go into the Pro V1, which was actually really quite interesting when I took a look at this. Um, so my club speed was faster um, as I was obviously warming up through this round. Um, 80.6 mile an hour, ball speed was pretty much the same. So. Um, the faster club speed there and the ball speed stayed the same, whereas before it was the slower club speed and the quicker ball speed, which is interesting. Uh, carry distance, again, marginal, but basically the same. As we go through launch, 25.5 to 26, the Pro V1 launched a degree higher. Um, so the piercing trajectory of that SD01 was, was spot on, it was perfect. And the spin, so Sorry, the SDX one. Uh, the spin. So the SDX one had 7,908 spin um, for a pitching wedge, which is good for me, and uh, 7,780 for the Pro V1. So a couple hundred RPMs extra. Um, and I did have a low one in there as well with the SDX one at 7,000. So um, 7,006 as a lower spin. Um, if I had another one higher, I would say that that is actually averaging around about four to 500 RPM, more spin than a Pro V1, which into the grease for me is what I want. Uh, seven irons, Pro V1X, I'm, I'm kind of running through this, but I want you guys to kind of get the whole scope here. Um, a mile an hour difference in the club head speed, that's gonna happen just because I'm, I'm not a robot. Um, ball speed, the Pro V1X was a little quicker. Um, it was faster in the club speed though, so a mile an hour faster club speed, 1.4 mile an hour difference in ball speed, which is you know, give or take the carry distance, even though the club speed and the ball speed was less with the SD01 was actually further by 1.1 meters. So read into that what you will. The launch was a touch lower as well. So vertical launch 19 degrees with a seven iron, which is bang on for me. Um, and uh, where are we with the launch? And 20 degrees with the Pro V1, so Pro V1X. So still pretty good. Um, spin rates, this was really surprising. 6,105 um, with the seven iron for me is, is really good spin rates. And even 6,600 to be honest is really good spin rates, but there is a difference there of, uh, of 600 RPMs of spin. So if I'm looking at that with the seven iron that I have at 35 degrees aloft, um, I actually like the 6,000 mark. I think that's more to where I should be. It's just hard for me to get down there, but I've changed the swing a little bit and uh, you know, and I'm hitting these numbers pretty much exactly the same until you see the spin rates and then it gets really, really interesting. So, um, now the SDX one, obviously it's the one that I'm kind of leaning towards, right? The SDX one, because I, I really like it in terms of the, the comparison between the seed balls. Um, basically a mile an hour quicker on the club head speed. We see a mile an hour ball speed difference. Carry distance is one meter further. Uh, vertical launch is exactly the same, 19.4 on both of them. So the SDX1 and the Pro V1 are so close, I think it would actually be hard to, to differentiate them other than just the strike, you know. Um, into the spin numbers, again, these guys are like neck and neck. 6,308 is phenomenal with the mid iron for me, um, and 6,343 even is, is incredible for me. So both are doing their job incredibly well. And check make sure that's still recording. It is. The driver. Now, I do have to apologize because the battery, uh, sorry, the uh, the memory card ran out and I needed all the film on there. So um, I, I missed a couple of shots on there with the Pro V1X, but I did hit them. Um, swing speed was down today a little bit, probably because I'd already hit like, you know, 40 odd shots with every other club, but 109.1 mile an hour with the Pro V1X, 109.7 with the Pro V1. Um, but if I compare the Pro V1 first with the SD01, because it's just together here. Uh, ball speed, 158.8. Ball speed on the Pro V1, 158.1. Carry distance, the SD01 actually got it by 2.5 meters. Uh, total distance, again, about the same. Smash factor was identical. Vertical launch was almost identical as well. P 
peak height, the SDI one flew a little higher. Um, and if we go into the spin, the spin is a little high on both. I'm, I'm working through something with my driver at the moment. This is not a reflection on any of the balls, probably ones or, or seats. Um, I'm just spinning it a little bit higher. I'm, I'm kind of cutting across it a bit. So working on that, but um, 3000 is gonna to be too high spin for, for me really. It needs to be about that 2.5 to 2.7 mark. Um, but on both balls, they're spinning identically. So the balls are performing well. It's just more a technique thing for me. Now, if I look at the Pro V1X driver numbers, we've got 109 mile per hour, 157 ball speed, 247 carry. And the SDX1, which is comparison, 110 club head speed. I cracked 160 mile per hour ball speed, and that's the only one that I actually cracked 160 with today. Um, I can get up to 170, but 160, obviously, with the way I was swinging, is really, really good. So that's the only ball that I did it with, was the seed XDX1. So what they said and their claims about having a very fast ball I've been able to prove it. Like it, it's there, it, it is quick. It's a very quick ball. Uh, carry distance 252, Pro V1 247, so it's got it by five meters. Um, uh, total distance 268, we won't bother looking at that. Vertical launch 13.1, um, Pro V1, sorry, the Pro V1 here is the one that we should be looking at. Um, Pro V1, vertical launch 13.1, and I've kind of done that back to front, haven't I? Anyway, you're going to see the numbers as we go. Um, the spin rate on it was down 2,904. So again, it's still high, but it's lower than all of the others. 3,037, 3,040, 3,066. So it's not the best spin rates for me on the driver. I'm, again, I'm working on that technique, just shallowing it out a little bit more to take off the spin. But the numbers are the best for me with the, with the Seed SDX1. Now that's going through a ball. Uh, test and a ball that I've used for a long time in the Pro V1 and if I ever have a go-to ball if you want to call it that for me it's always been the Pro V1. Um, however the seed SDX1 in every single category has ticked the box from durability from on-course short game. Um, you're going to see the on-course review after this as well and it ticks that box just a smaller alert. Um, and the seed SDX1 in the simulator with all of the numbers has ticked every single box. Like I'm incredibly stoked with it. It is an absolutely pure ball. And uh, I don't think that they could have done a better job in terms of an improvement. Like I know I'm rambling, but if I look at this and I compare the Seed SDO one to the SDX one, I can see what they've done for, for my style of player, um, where the swing speeds are around about 110, so they're a little quicker. Uh, they're gonna be probably using more traditionally lofted irons or bladed irons, so more geared toward a lower to, to mid handicapper. Um, and it, it fits my game perfectly, like it, it honestly does. Um, so thank you Seed for doing that, um, because it is a serious gamer, it is a serious ball, and uh, just wait for the course review because I'm hitting into some heavy wins there and uh, I'm really excited to show you guys how it performs. So, look guys, thanks so much for watching the channel. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment a positive comment, and uh, just wait for plenty of amazing content that's gonna be coming out. We've got some putters here that we're gonna be reviewing. Um, we've got some wedges coming we're gonna be reviewing. We've got some gloves coming we're gonna be reviewing and a whole bunch of other stuff, as well as some on-course vlogs. So thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.